This video is about how to win your domestic violence case without going to court. My name is Veronica. I am a criminal defense attorney in Los Angeles, and I help people who have been charged with domestic violence put their cases behind them so that they can move on with their lives and enjoy their freedom. So again, today we're talking about how to win your domestic violence case without going to court. The first thing that you need to do before your first court date, and even if you've been to court but you haven't done this, you need to do it right now. Um, the first thing you need to do is sign up for domestic violence classes. In Los Angeles County, I highly recommend that you look up Los Angeles Batterers Intervention Program or Batterers Intervention Classes and make sure that you find one that is court approved. Um, and so what are these? These are classes, they meet once a week. They're usually about between 15 and 25 bucks each. And you need to get yourself into those classes. Now, some people might wonder, um, and I've definitely gotten this question quite a few times, well, I'm not guilty though. Why are you telling me to take these domestic violence batterers intervention classes? I'm not a batterer. The thing is that taking these classes can only help you. It is not an admission of guilt. It is something that can be provided to the prosecutor and to the court, um, who both of whom are probably assuming that you're guilty. And it's going to show them, look, you are proactive. Many people are ordered to take these classes by the court and they don't take them. Now you're taking them before you even go to your first court date and that helps a lot. Sometimes we are able to, even if your case does end up making it to court, um, we're able to get you credit for those classes. That's why I'm saying make sure that you take the, um, the, the court approved classes. If you take just some random online class, you, it may be harder to get you credit for that. Um, but you wanna make sure that you sign up for those classes as quickly as possible once you have bonded out. The second thing that you need to do is make sure that your attorney knows all of the good things about you, hardships you've experienced, uh, all the things that make you a good person and knows your side of the story, okay? So most private attorneys are going to interview you or have you fill out a form um, before court and it's really important that even if they don't do that, that you make sure that they know all of those things ahead of time. So these are things like your education, like your work, any volunteer work. Um, if you're an immigrant, um, you came here from another country and set up your life here, um, that's really important. If you have a professional license that could be um, taken away if you were to get a conviction, it's really important that they know that too. If you're supporting your family, if there's, you know, you're taking care of your grandma, any of the good things about you, any of those things, make sure that your attorney knows them. Okay, and your side of the story. First of all, make sure that you are very honest with your attorney. Do not lie to us. It will not help you and it could really hurt you. So make sure that your attorney knows your side of the story. There may be things in there that they can use. For example, many times in these domestic violence cases, it is a self-defense situation or a mutual combat situation where both people are hitting each other. Um, perhaps you have injuries. If you do, make sure that if you have any pictures of those, your attorney knows about that and has the pictures. Um, but just make sure that your attorney knows your side of the story so that they can use it to your advantage. And then number three, and this is probably the most important thing um, before your first court date is your attorney needs to get in contact with the prosecutor's office because they are going to use all the good things about you anything from your side of the story that will help you if you're taking those classes they may want to tell the da hey my client's already taking these classes and the idea is to prevent the attorney or prevent the district attorney the prosecutor from filing charges against you at all so how does that work? Well, when you are arrested, the police, they decide what to book you for. They decide, is it going to be a felony, a misdemeanor? They decide if they're going to charge you with anything at all, right? They're going to arrest you. But then the DA's office still has to decide, are we actually going to file formal charges against this person? And that is where you have the opportunity before your first court date, during the DA, the prosecution's pre-filing investigation, to get them to drop the entire case. So it is really important that before your first court date, um, your attorney gets in contact with the prosecutor um, and wins that pre-filing investigation and gets the whole thing thrown out. 
um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, um, if you found what I said uh, helpful, but there's more that you're wondering about, feel free to give me a call. My number is down below. You can also book a call directly with me.